In all these different challenges that we've had and all the different successes that Edward has had, we always see there's some part that JCFS has in it. Who's that? Who is it? Is that her angry temper? Yes. Is she a boy or a girl? What do you think? A boy? A girl? Oh, she's so a girl. Look at her. Her pigtails. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. Good uh, job reading that book. Uh, do you want to play with the train again? I want to read it all over again. Sophie was busy playing when her sister grabbed Gorilla. My turn. It has changed our lives and it has made life for Edward and for our entire family better. We come, we do, you tell us what you need done, we'll do it. You can't survive without volunteers. We have foster parents who are incredibly patient, who are able to, to stick with kids who have histories of trauma. If a family is in crisis or if a child is in crisis, we have the staff that can help them. We had no idea that it was going to be just an integral factor in where we are today and the successes that we've gotten. Parents are always concerned about, will my child fit in with everybody else? Will my child have friends? And so that's that's been like a huge thing for us. And you know, he's, he's got a family with JCFS and the kids that are there in the respite program. The respite program is great for us because it gives us a couple of three hours of you know once a month, but then also. The kids look forward to it because it's a, it's a, it's a great play date for them. As a mother of children who don't have uh, disabilities, I can hire a babysitter to come to my house and take care of my kids for the evening. But people who have children with severe disabilities, they have to have a skilled professional there to watch their child when they're not there because they, no one could take care of a child. We are able to raise money to give families that privilege that we take for granted. And I think that's a lot of what goes on with us, is we realize that we are so privileged by our lifestyles that if we can give something back to the community and see the fruits of our labor, anyone out there would love to do that in the organization. Well, the North Shore Auxiliary Ladies, they come in, first of all, they transform our staff lounge into this great uh, place where the students can come in and have lunch. The big thing about the pizza party is that the students always have lunch in their classroom. So having this occasion every other month to get together and actually eat in the lounge is huge for our students because they never have to get to have lunch really with a larger group of their peers. It's great to watch the Ladies Auxiliary interact with the students that have been here for a while because they get to know them. Most of the children that come to the Therapeutic Day School are here for whatever particular reason. It's um, whether they have learning or social issues, behavioral problems at home. And for a lot of children, the Therapeutic Day School is a school of last resort. And when you know that they have succeeded and they have been put on a path of being able to go to college, go to junior college, get a job, and take care of themselves as young adults, it's it's very heartwarming to see because as parents, we try to do that for our own children. So these children are getting part of that here at the day school. I think my wife and I both felt it's important to help kids whenever you can. We felt that these children needed a, a chance to, to, to live in a, a good, loving home. The number of kids that we uh, had in our house as uh, where we were foster parents is around 40. So it's kind of an amazing, you know, so you, you, you know that you, you've made some changes, you've, you've helped certain people can't say that you've helped them all because you don't know, you don't keep in touch with all of them. But uh, I assure you that uh, my wife and I got more out of it than we think we've given. I've been thinking about what I can say, what profound words that would capture the essence of what Tom has done for me. A few short sentences, keywords, or catchphrases, and nothing can describe the respect I have for him. The best way I can honor him was to name my son after him, and 13 years ago, my Thomas born.
the qualities that make a good foster parent, I think, include being patient. Our, our kids come with a, a variety of challenging behaviors and, and they need foster parents who are going to stick with them despite these behaviors. I think compassion, I think, for the, the child and for their, their family is important. And I think it's important to have a, a good sense of humor and kind of see the joy in, in the work that foster parents are doing. Although I'm receiving a leadership award, uh, I don't consider myself a leader. I'm a doer. My wife and I always have strived to, to help others. And you know that's where you get your greatest joy. That's where you get your greatest happiness and, and peace. And um, I, I don't necessarily think that that's leadership. I just think that that's something that's within you and you do it. Should I read this page? Oh, it's